He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Matthew 25, 33. So now I'm about to give you a quiz, and I have a feeling it's going to be harder than it sounds. See if you can guess if the photos I'm about to show you are a sheep or a goat. Sounds pretty easy, right? Okay, let's check this out. All right, so is this a sheep or a goat? It's a goat. Sheep or goat? This one's a sheep. Sheep or goat? This one's a sheep too. Sheep or goat? This one's a goat. Sheep or goat? Sheep. Sheep or goat? It's a goat. So what did you think about those pictures, Zachary? Whoa, they were so hard, but somehow I managed. You figured them all out? Yeah. I don't know how you did it because I didn't know what any of them were. But it was super, super difficult. It was really hard. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So the, the um, easiest way that I've learned through my findings to tell a goat from a sheep is that a goat's tail usually sticks up in the air and a sheep's tail hangs down. And if sheep have horns, they're usually curved. And a goat's horns are still a little bit curved, but not quite as curved. Sheep usually have really fluffy wool that need to be sheared, and goats have flatter, straighter hair. So those are the key differences between goats and sheep. So do you think that Jesus can tell sheep from goats? Neither, but he tells a story about sheep and goats in the Bible. So that's what our Bible lesson's about today. So one day Jesus was actually speaking to a group of followers about the day when the Son of Man would come in all his glory. The Son of Man was actually a title that Jesus used for himself. And he said, he will sit on his throne and of all the nations would be gathered before him. Will separate the people like a shepherd separates sheep ah. from the goats. <laughs> he will put the sheep on his right ah. and the goats on his left. How do you know the sheep from the goats? So Jesus went on to explain. He will say to those on his right, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. And then the, the righteous ones will ask, when did we do all that? The king will say, I tell you the truth. When you did it to the least of my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. But then... Okay, that was that was the sheep. So now he talk, now he's talking to the goats, and he says, "I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and you in prison and you didn't visit me." And then they'll they'll ask, "Well, when was this? When did we refuse to help you?" And he'll answer. When you refuse to help the least of my brothers and sisters, you refuse to help me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go to eternal life. So there's these two groups. And the point of this lesson is not that doing good things will get you to heaven. But the point is that if we truly belong to Jesus, we will show love. We will show love for others as Jesus showed love for us. That is how Jesus can tell his sheep from his goats. So I think I want to be a sheep. Well, okay. I want to be known to Jesus as I helped those people. I think I'd rather be a sheep in Jesus' story. What about you? Maybe. Yeah, I would.
Okay. <laughs> All right, let's pray to end. Okay. Our Father, help us to show love for others as you show love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. a whole nother video. We'll follow up with that next time. <laughs>